Alan would need all the rest he could get if he was to keep up with the high-flying Vince Carter and the Toronto Raptors in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Vince was the clean-cut mainstream superstar that Iverson never would be. The dramatic setup was perfect, and from the start, the series would be a duel between the two stars. Alan's dropping 54, Vince comes back and he's dropping 50. And it was one after another, one after another. It was like they were taking turns. And now inside the Air Canada Center, let's take a look at our Gatorade starting lineups for the Philadelphia 76ers, their same group of Lynch Hill, Matumbo, Iverson, and Snow. The Raptors with the same lineup since game two of the New York series with uh, Carter and Oakley at forward with Davis and a Childs, the point guard with Alvin Williams. This place is rocking as we bring in the third member of our team, D. Lynham. Well, Dick, we think of Toronto as a hockey town. It's home to the Hockey Hall of Fame, home to the Maple Leafs who have been around for 84 years. Fever rampant. 13,000 people with purple well, headbands, the game sold out in an hour's time. The key in this game tonight is you must keep the turnovers under 12, get good, solid, high percentage shots once we get down inside the last three minutes. Remember, the games have been decided by three and five. Back to Raptors were at 80 80, but they missed two free throws, turned it over, and then I was into the three. So both teams could have won the game they lost. Eric Snow, who was the only other sixer in double figures, if two of the three guys can give us double figures, we'll be okay. Carter hit all three, so that may be a signal of what's to come. Vince Carter, who hit four of nine in the loss on Wednesday. But it's been the Raptors who have been really successful from three. Carter going up. And Lynch loses it out of bounds, fighting for the rebound. In game two, zero foul shot attempts. And, and that's almost unheard of when you take 27 shots. And score 28 for Carter with the first five Raptor points. The, these uh, violation areas will be eliminated. Driving was Davis, but it was set up by Chris Childs all the way. Yeah, anytime you go the baseline tonight, you know that that double team is coming hard. Your big guys have got to spot up in front of the basket. Iverson hitting his first field goal of the game. He broke Billy Cunningham's sixer playoff scoring record with 54 points. Cunningham had scored 50, and what impressed Billy was the 19 consecutive points in the fourth quarter. Toronto off to a big start, and Iverson with a great strip of Chris Childs. Well, he's always looking. He's gambling all the time in the backcourt and even on the shot attempt. Snow leaves it in for Hill, who lays it in. Tyrone Hill with his first points of the game, and the Raptor lead is won. And Snow, defended by Childs, tries to get it inside. The Lynch knocked away. And here on the drive, So he is at least trying to get inside, and seven points for Carter of Toronto's first nine. See, that's what they want to see, Dick. They want to see him attack the glass. Proud very much a factor in this game. Both of the fans in their cities, incredibly enthusiastic. It was a wild helter-skelter game, too. Here is Carter. What a start for him. He has 10 points, including two threes, to start it all. He, he, he's on fire right now. Here is Davis, his first shot of the game. What a series and playoff Antonio Davis is having. He has been a double figures. Everyone is hitting the jumpers from the outside, and Iverson is questionable. Iverson hits the deck and hits the two. And in that the first half, the Raptors opened up a 14-point lead before Iverson and the Sixers made that big second quarter run. But if the guy goes underneath, then he steps back and he shoots the three. And right now, he's on fire, and you want to get him into putting it down. Iverson, foul, making 25 of 26 in the game. Giles staying in the game with two fouls, missing the shot. Hill fighting, Carter winning and getting the basket. Carter with the second effort in game one. One on one. And Carter firing over the key. Hits three for Vince Carter. So he so far has had an answer for the answer. And he has hit six of seven overall. Here's Oakley left open for the shot. Maybe too open for too long. Iverson. 
quickly down the court, gets the basket. Allen Iverson, who's been doing it as a passer here in the first quarter, and the tumble going high for the rebound. Iverson streaking by everybody, reverse layup. Oh, wow! What a spectacular coast to coast. Now, Vince Carter tonight, we're seeing the total all around game. He has been very unselfish. He's been giving up the ball a lot, but he is still shooting very accurately. Iverson on the steal and has it deflected, and Oakley committing the foul from behind. So, Oakley. Del Curry into the game. He's been brilliant for three. And that's a two-point basket for Curry. And Tumaine Jones into the game. And uh, McKee from the corner, but it's kept alive by Matumbo. Iverson, no basket. The foul against Iverson. In games one and, and game two, he gets to the line 24 times. He was shooting at 88% during the season. And winding down to uh, five seconds to go, it's Iverson driving, trapped, and the key has to hurry with the shot, fires, and hits, it counts! A two-point field goal by Aaron McKee as time runs out as the Sixers have come back again to tie the Raptors at 23. Now you like to see this, he was under great pressure, that clock was going down, and just as it leaves his hand, you know, Toronto, the coaching staff, they challenged whether or not the shot was released. So there is Iverson with 11, but notice the 15 by Vince Carter because that is his best quarter in his playoff career. So you must put a body on a man when a shot goes up at your defense. Carter hitting his fourth oh, three-pointer. So Carter is four for four. In game two, and uh, Williams goes behind, and Carter is fouled by Allen Iverson. And the crowd cheering. The two being involved in the same play for Iverson. That is his first personal. And uh, Carter, not only is Carter going to the line for the first time, these are the first free throws by the Raptors, who only went there 13 times in their loss. Because when you think of how many shot attempts, 27 shot attempts in game two, and then he's off and running here. Iverson and Carter got a piece of that one. So Carter doing the defensive job on Iverson. And the pass inside to Davis, Alvin Williams, spreading the needle. And the seven-point lead by the Raptors here in the second quarter with less than two minutes gone by. He is four for eight thus far, QB. And the lead is six. Clark going out, Curry. Close, but no cigar. Rips it and the interception by Alvin Williams on the long pass attempt by the Sixers. Carter to go to another three. The lead is nine, and Carter hits the floor in decisive fashion. The Matumbo over there as well. They were enhancing the ball and calling timeout. Matumbo set a screen, and Carter into the screen. Now, Carter is all upset because he thought Matumbo hit him on the screen. I was watching the dribbler, and I honestly did not see that. And then you can see a little push. Now keep an eye. Watch this screen right here on Carter. He's set, but he thought that he caught him with an elbow, see? And that's why when Carter goes down, you can see Danny Crawford, the referee, was watching. There's a stagger screen from preventing a man from catching a bang. Here is Davis on the pass inside, blocked by Matumbo, and now the Sixers running out, have a three on two, and Aaron McKee lays it in. So the block leading to the fast break basket and the Sixers about the foul call. Four minutes elapsed here in the second. Carter does it again. Vince Carter has hit six out of six from three-point territory. He has 26 points, and this crowd on its feet. What a show by him tonight. And missing the offensive rebound by the tumbo. Easy, easy. And he's got to be restrained as easy. Well, he won't give up the ball. Tempers are short here. Yeah, see, Antonio Davis wanted to take the ball out of his hand. Technical foul. And you know what was going to happen sooner or later. Matumbo really going at the officials. Technical foul could not have been on Dikembe Matumbo. 
here it is again and it was on Antonio Davis Davis for knocking the ball away from a tumble Iverson only six of 13 from the line Carter seven of seven from three-point territory and he's got to be approaching here is Snow penetrating into a crowd, leaving McKee open for the three. Aaron McKee hitting the first three-pointer for the Sixers. Here's McKee, who just hit the three-pointer. The double team leaves Snow open. Way off the mark. Rizzo and Childs underhands it to Curry. Curry looks, steps back, and this is a three. Carter with the rebound. Turn around. Another one. That's amazing. Amazing. Vince Carter on a turnaround has hit his eighth three-pointer in a row. Think he can see the basket on the turnaround. 32 in the game. What a shot. This is phenomenal. Childs getting it into Carter. Good block. Block inside by Otumbo. And there is uh, Curry getting a hand on that uh, foray by the Sixers, breaking up their fast break attempt. Once again, take a four on two situation. From game two, and they missed only one from the strike. Here is Childs open for three, and he's got it. So somebody else besides Vince Carter hitting the three tonight. Williams back into the game for the Raptors with Childs, who hit a three moments ago, and now has another one. So Chris Childs. And the Sixers making the Raptors work to bring it up. And here is Jerome Williams to Carter. Carter over the big. McCullough scores! So here is Vince Carter going up against McCullough, who stands at seven feet. Sixers trying to cut it to 15 before the end of this half. Now give Toronto a lot of credit. Low on the turnovers, Dick. And there is Childs trying to get one back. Time running out and they scramble for a loose ball and uh, catch and jammer kids the way they're... They were up for 22 points in free throws uh, coming into this game. And here is the pass out to McKee. Final shot. It'll count if it goes. And it doesn't. And that'll do it. The story of this first half, Wednesday it was Allen Iverson. Tonight it is Vince Carter, whose 34 points are the most he has ever had in a half in his NBA career. And the Raptors take a 58-41 to 41 lead in their effort to take a 2-1 to one lead in this best of seven Eastern semifinal. Taking a look now, Vince Carter from the first half and uh, Allen Iverson in game two, that's what they've done amazingly. And this is uh, interesting, uh, UB, Allen Iverson tonight has more assists than he has field goals in this uh, half. Uh, so there they are, Iverson has 16 points, but uh, Carter eclipsing in the first half what Allen Iverson achieved on Wednesday. Childs with Williams, Carter, Oakley, and Antonio Davis for the Raptors. Their biggest lead was 19. Clear out here. And it's Carter against Lynch. Carter starting where he left off. 36 points. That's such an unorthodox shot. What a game is that. So solid. So solid. And driving is the Childs. Off the rim. Got it out. Childs has it again. And there's a pass to Carter. It was not a shot, but a pass to Carter over his head. And we're seeing everything tonight from Vince Carter as we saw from Allen Iverson in the last game. See it, he just throws the pass, he sees Carter whisking in from the right-hand side. Beautiful, right on the money. Here is Snow, and Carter out battling Mutombo for the rebound, and here is Antonio Davis, and the Toronto Raptors force Larry Brown to call a timeout after opening up a 21-point lead. Trying to do as a team is you can't make up all the points. Just try to get it to 10. Well, McKee gets three back. If you get it to 10 by the end of the quarter, you're within striking distance. Keeps it out to Childs for the three. Childs hit a couple in the first half, and now Hill on a very active rebound. Three on two break. Iverson to McKee at five straight points. Scored by Aaron McKee and a good timeout. On the isolation of Hill coming over to double team, leaving Oakley open to hit the shot. Oakley with his first points tonight. Now, Oakley in this series has been very solid. Being very solid on the boards. 
There's Iverson stop and go in traffic, lays it in. Allen Iverson, who had not scored a basket by doing that. Oakley, after making a pass, hitting a second. So Oakley, trying to get in rhythm, has hit his first two field goals here in this third quarter. Orange first. And a nine-point edge and second-chance points for the Raptors. That's how they beat the Knicks in round one. But Tumbo clicks with his hook shot, with his right arm extended. And the lead is 15. Connors had a brief arrest, but that's all. Pass inside, blocked by Matumbo as he rejects Antonio Davis and Kevin Ollie on the lay-in. Sixers getting mileage off the turnover. 13-point game, Iverson changing direction, going in traffic, blocked by Oakley. Oakley with a block two on one, Carter pulls up and off the bar. So Vince Carter, Iverson gets double teamed out on the winger at the top of the circle. Snow is open at the foul line. They are not even running anyone at him. They're saying you must make the shot. Here's Carter hitting the three. The Raptors have been scoreless for the last three minutes. And Vince Carter has tied Rex Chapman's record with nine three-point field goals in a playoff game. And Carter with seven on the shot clock. Practically the same amount of time on the game clock. Chives leaves it for Davis. And Davis with a big basket. And 1.3 on the clock. Allen Iverson fires away. And that'll do it. The Sixers make a run, but Davis will get the crowd back in as the third quarter ends, and the Raptors will have the 14-point lead. But Vince Carter with nine threes and 41 points in the game. Allen Iverson has 18 and seven assists in the game. So after three, it's Toronto 75, Philadelphia 61. Fighting Carter very hard so that he could not post up. Jerome Williams defended nicely by Lynch. Gets nice the ball back. back and puts it through. Well executed. Vince Carter to Jerome Williams and the foul. Billy got caught. Two guys playing one out past the three point line. When that ball is handed off, this is give and go. Watch what happens. Nobody's guarding Williams. Two guys went with the cutter. And what happens? Open, wide open, and the rotation was late. So they love JYD, junkyard dog, and Jerome Williams. Easily a fan favorite. Here's another look. And this is just a nice give and go situation. Williams realized he was open, but then Carter made it happen. He gave him the not go. These are pivotal minutes right now as the Raptors try to open their advantage, and the Sixers want to get it down. Carter with a runner in the lane. Vince Carter now with 43. Anytime the team is as small as the Sixers are right now, yeah, he's done a very good job in dogging defensively. Uh, Allen Iverson, anytime that Williams is either out of the game or on a switch. Iverson on the turnaround, 20 points, and now the Sixers really need stops. 14-point lead. Entering uh, some critical moments for the 76ers to narrow the gap. Carter! How did Carter get that shot off? He was like going to his left on the left side of the floor and he flipped it in. 45 for him. Now you got to do this. See, right now Snow's trying to play Carter. He can get it either way. Oh, Alvin Williams from Carter. Alvin Williams tonight with another assist and a timeout call by the 76ers. He has only two field goals in the last 34 minutes of this game. Does the Sixers in a big hole, but Iverson hitting the three, his first of the game. Big thing now, just back it out, run some time. Carter on the drive, and no basket. They give it to him. Yes, they do. They give him continuation that time. All right. So Carter getting it all tonight, and... Uh, in that situation, gets the basket and a chance for the three-pointer. Now just watch this roll, uh, how he lets it come out of his hand on this release. Just beautiful. And trying to answer Allen Iverson, known as the answer. 47 points tonight. Iverson scoring 54 in game two on Wednesday. Kevin Ali with Jumaine Jones, Todd McCullough, Rodney Buford. Look up, and here is going to be Carter. 50.
two-point lead, the biggest of the game right now, and Vince Carter is going to go out to the thundering ovation right here. Boy, did he have an answer tonight. Back-to-back -back games, we've seen two spectacular shows. Lenny Wilkins went to Childs at the point guard position. That was the best move by this coaching staff. By putting Childs in the backcourt, it relieved Alvin Williams to become a scorer and also a distributor at two. Against the best in the East, the 76ers. Carter with 50 points tonight. Six rebounds, seven assists, and four blocks. Incredible game. And you mentioned Davis with 20 and 14. Allen Iverson, 23, but only 7 of 22 from the field, and that doesn't. So Iverson stole the show Wednesday. Tonight, Vince Carter's night. Final score, the Toronto Raptors defeat the Philadelphia 76ers, 102 to 78, and lead the best of seven, two games to one. Game. He was taking you to town downtown. You guys couldn't stop him from the outside. You're right. You saw the game just like everybody else. <laughs> Is there a way to stop him from outside? No, man. If, if there was, we would have did it. Come on, man. We've been, we watch it on TV all year long on the Sports Center highlights. You can't shut nobody like that down.